Astrology. A lot of us believe in it and some of us don't. Does the alignment of planets and stars at the time of our birth has anything to do with our life? Scientific community dismisses the idea, but there is a lingering belief. Is there something in it or is there not? I have had my own set of doubts about this till I came across Sister Shivani's perspective and that kind of made sense to me. Let's find out. Namaste. I am Gargi and you are watching The Aligned Souls. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind, body and soul. Sister Shivani mentioned in an interview that she has never gotten her astrological chart done, but she did have some conversations with reputed astrologers. We also know that Sister Shivani lives by the concept of karma. So, based on those conversations and her approach to life, she gave this explanation. Chart prepared at the time of our birth seems to clearly lay out our personality traits and the things that may happen during our lifetime, be it about career, marriage and whatnot. When our astrological chart is prepared at birth, we have not done any karma, right? We are just born. So then, what is it based on? It is entirely based on our past karmas from our previous lives. Our karmic account is like a balance sheet of all positive and negative karmas of this soul. And that astrological chart is entirely based on that closing balance of our past karma. So then, the question is, is it true? Is that chart correct about our lives? Sister Shivani said that the closing balance of our previous life's karma is now the opening balance of this present life. And if in this life we do not make any change in our sanskars, if we do not make any change in the balance sheet of our karma, then whatever is written in our astrological chart may still hold. At the time of our birth, the astrological chart was just a prediction. But if we assume it as reality and do nothing about it, then that is what we manifest. It's like, uh, let's say that the doctor looked at our blood report and said that you may soon be diabetic. If we take it as reality and do nothing, in fact, we get more stressed about it, then very soon we will be diabetic. But, but here is the important part. If instead we make positive changes to our diet, lifestyle and exercise, then we can change the future course that the doctor had predicted. And just like that, the astrology chart is the prediction based on our past karma. And we are now in this life and we have the power. We have the power to change our sanskars to the positive, to change the balance sheet of our karma to the positive. And that can change our destiny. Karma is any form of energy that I send out in this world. So, karma is not just what we do, it is also what we say and what we think. Yes, even my intentions, feelings or thoughts, as they carry energy or vibrations that I send out into the universe. Most of our karma is invisible, but we only focus on what we can see. So, the lesson from Sister Shivani is to go deeper, to keep a check on our thoughts and feelings and not just our words and actions. Sister Shivani said that all our karma is recorded in our karmic account and that drives our destiny. So, from today, if we can practice the philosophy of positive karma by being a loving and peaceful person, by meditating, by not harboring ill feeling against others, by avoiding negative words and by practicing positive affirmations, we can alter our destiny. Then the things written in the chart prepared at the time of our birth may no longer be true. As we have changed our sanskar during this lifetime. If you could relate to that, you would also like this video where we learn to manifest something in our life with water, with examples of affirmations that we can use. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.